We were never expecting to get hit by a hurricane class five. Definitely the, the impact. It was something that we were not prepared for. A major constant reminder that we were hit by the storm is the lack of power in certain areas of the, uh, of the island. After the, the Hurricane Maria, everything changed and nothing is like it was before. The port has just opened on Saturday. Immediately Crowley, one of the biggest shippers here, started bringing in vessels full of relief supplies. I just can't believe that it has been six months since the hit of the storm. I remember that two days after the hit of the storm, the U.S. Coast Guard opened the Bay of San Juan. That same morning at 10 a.m., we were the first carrier working a vessel. Two hours later, already relief cargo was on their way to FEMA and to the most needed around the island. I remember that day when all of our employees showed up at the terminal just because they knew that we had a commitment with the people of Puerto Rico. Crowley has been the lead logistics provider both for the relief effort immediately following the hurricane and literally we had vessels in the harbor unloading much needed water, food, blue tarps in just hours after the, the, the port reopened following the storm. Crowley's involvement in this uh, relief operation uh, has been invaluable. We have provided everything from cross-dock reception, cross-docking operations in the states, coming here through line to receive them, and then all more moved to the island. Everything from trucking on the island, delivering the telephone poles, the transformers, the dressings from the poles, the other supplies that the construction teams need uh, to some of the most remote locations on the island. We move telephone poles from as far away as Washington State into Port Canaveral where, where they'll be loaded onto a barge and transported to Puerto Rico for installation. Some are steel, some are concrete, some are wood, and some weigh 10,000 pounds. The poles needed to restore Puerto Rico's power network are shipping through Port Canaveral. 30,000 of them in all shipped between last month and the end of this coming January. A company called Crowley Logistics, contracted by FEMA, is organizing the effort. A lot of our employees were affected by the hurricane, so in a small way, along with helping the people of Puerto Rico, I'm helping fellow Crowley employees. There are very few companies that has the capacity and the strength to provide an end-to-end -end solution to, uh, to an effort of this magnitude. Crowley and other domestic U.S. maritime carriers had a unique ability to respond to Puerto Rico for several reasons. One, we were already established in that trade, so we had the infrastructure the terminal operations capability, the assets on the island, the trucks, most importantly, the employees on the island. Probably has been extremely important. It's been a key on this entire process and uh, taking care of our employees, including myself, supporting the island with the importation of products, providing support to FEMA, providing support to the Corp of Engineers, and some other customers that are working directly with the restoration project. Within three days, uh, we got to Vieques and Culebra. That is a, a challenging effort by itself, even during non-hurricane you know, season. But imagine what, what the devastation that we went through. And Crowley, within 72 hours after um, the storm hit, and we had a, a truck with a half, uh, half a load of water, half a load of uh, uh, of food going one to Culebra and one to Vieques. That is something that we have to be proud of. Um, and, and when we look at the history, I, I hope that that is noted someplace in the history page. I feel that we have been going through a lot. It has been six months very hard and uh, for each of the Puerto Rican and the people and also for the people that has been coming you know, to the island to support on the, on the recovery. There are still a lot to do, and, uh, but we have everything that is necessary to make it happen. There is a real commitment from our company and to continue to support the island in, in the recovery effort. We have new uh, vessels coming in, we continue to expand, and our logistics services 
We had before 100,000 square foot facility. Now we currently have 200,000 square foot facility of warehouse space. So that's, that's how we will continue to support you know, the island and, and the needs of the customers. So far, we've been able to move over 40,000 poles already to the island, over 7,000 transformers, 10 million miles of wire. We have worked over 201 vessels. We have moved close to 40,000 commercial loads and close to 8,000 female loads as well. Crowley continues to have a large portion of our fleet dedicated to disaster recovery efforts in Puerto Rico. We will continue to support those efforts as long as it takes. Uh, as long as the federal government is involved in Puerto Rico and even our commercial partners are involved in disaster recovery, Crowley will be there to provide the logistic support necessary to make that happen. It's not just the fact of working a vessel. It's not just the fact of opening a terminal. It's the fact that every time a load was delivered, it meant food on the table of the people of Puerto Rico. It really meant that Crowley was part of a big effort to save lives. Puerto Rico is incredibly important. We've serviced the island for over 60 years now. We have over 300 employees on the island, but a lot of our employees in the U.S. and otherwise are, are, are from Puerto Rico. They're our friends, our family, our coworkers. I can't overstate how important this recovery effort is to Crowley.